Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I am your host, Constance Miller. This video is going to be a little bit all over the place. I started uh, recording this video about four or five days ago and due to various circumstances I had to stop and it kind of happened to be that I acquired a few more things uh, to add to this video so uh, I got uh, interrupted during my previous recording so I'm going to pick up where I left off there and then go on to the other figures. So, here we go. As most of you know by now, I am a huge Marvel nerd, and that is primarily where my toy collection lies. And it's not that I don't like DC. I just have my select favorites, and that is in the realm of the Batman family and Wonder Woman. And so my trinity of the top three DC Comics female characters is Wonder Woman, Catwoman, and Batgirl. Not in that particular order. Um, if I were to rank I would have to say Batgirl, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, uh, because everybody identifies with Wonder Woman. So, Catwoman uh, definitely tops the list, and then there's Batgirl, who I've loved ever since I was little watching the old Batman live action television series uh, where she was played by Yvonne Craig and yeah so I'm gonna give a little bit of love to DC and here we go the beginning phases of my Batman lore or fandom um, began in the early 90s when I was discovering comics, period, whether it was Marvel or DC, and it just happened to lean a little bit more towards Marvel than DC, but the Batman comics have always intrigued me, and roughly about that same time, the animated series for Batman and the X-Men both debuted roughly about the same time. They were each a hit on their own level, and while I preferred the X-Men, I definitely really enjoyed Batman the animated series. And further Strengthen my love of Batgirl and Catwoman. While I love the first versions of those characters, I'm gonna have to pull up some stills here. The Adventures of Batman or Robin and the New Adventures of Batman uh, offered up a different 
style of animation to each of the characters portrayed in the show. And I really loved that darker look, that sleeker design, that bolder choice to go in the direction it went in. And it turns out that I adored every incarnation of each character, except for Nightwing. Um, I, I didn't like the mullet. I, I just, I couldn't get past it. I, I tried. I really did. I tried. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of why I am doing this video. Well, I tried to collect everything that I can of Catwoman and Batgirl. As long as it suits my fancy. A lot of the Elseworld stuff, jeez. A lot of the Elseworld stuff um, loses me. Um, but there's. You're gonna have to excuse me. I gotta pull this off my wall. <laughs> He's a little dusty, but here is that girl. In that sleeker style. Oh my goodness, somebody's having a sneezing attack at the apartment next door. Terribly annoying. Oh, oh, I just noticed the wear and tear on her cape. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, things get old. <laughs> just like myself. And that brings us to Catwoman. This is from the new Batman Adventures and I'm loving this look of hers. And it's only ever been replicated, replicated twice prior to this. One was from uh, DC Collectibles, and the other one was from Mattel, actually. And now McFarland Toys owns the rights to produce any DC property that they desire, for the most part, from what I understand. And I've had a huge, huge problem with the quality of their toys. As in, like, breaking and coming apart. And it, it really kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. I, I mean, I still have some stuff, don't get me wrong some things I couldn't pass up. Much like this. So I'm gonna open her up and I never actually got a previous incarnation of this version of Catwoman from the animated series. So I have nothing really to compare it to except for the two uh, previous, uh, photos from DC Collectibles in the town. So here is McFarland Toys Catwoman. So here is Catwoman. And, uh, just to go ahead and bust into articulation. She gets a little bit of a look down, a very little look back, turnable head, a little bit of a pivot back and forth. 
She gets really good lateral lift in the arms. Shoulder turn, no bicep turn. Single jointed elbow. Wrist flex back and forth. There's no crunch forward or back. There's no waist turn. A tremendously good lateral lift in the leg. No thigh turn. Single jointed knee. A flex in the foot. Back and forth. Now because of the size and dimensions and frame of this figure, you're not going to get her to stand all that well. So thankfully, they included a stand for you. And we'll move on to accessories. She has three sets of alternate hands. And she comes with her kitty cat Isis, who is also articulated. Turnable head, movable front and back legs. Now I'm going to move on to Jack's Toys, Bart Simpson from The Simpsons. Yeah, The Simpsons. It's been a very long time since I've actually watched The Simpsons. I know it's still around. It's been around for a heck of a long time. Uh, I believe I was a early high school student when the show debuted, if not late middle school. Uh, so that goes to show you how old I am. And uh, I would dig into them uh, when they first premiered and, um, and probably in the first four or five years. Uh, I've since drifted away from them. However, I do recognize their importance on popular culture, which is why I saw this figure at Walmart and I was like, Ooh, would I like to collect The Simpsons again since these look like really neat toys. So I convinced myself to get Bart and I'll be on the lookout for the rest of the family. Um, I'm only getting the core family members. I'm not getting every single secondary character or whatnot. Uh, just enough to complete the family collection. So let's go ahead and open up Bart and we'll take a look. All right, so here's Bart Simpson and the size and scale of the figures uh, probably is close to what a six inch scale would be. Uh, Bart would obviously be shorter since he's a child. So articulation wise goes, he doesn't do a forward or look back. He gets a turnable head. There's a really awesome lateral lift in the arms. There is a bicep turn, as well as a shoulder turn, a single jointed elbow, and a flex in the wrist. He also gets a turnable waist. A lateral lift in the legs is good for its limitation. There's a thigh turn, single jointed knee, and a turn in the foot. That's pretty good articulation for the little guy. Bart also comes with his signature skateboard. And it does have moving wheels, so that's kind of cool. And so he will be posed with them.
One of my dear friends, Michael, has loved The Simpsons since the get-go, and so it kind of makes me think of him a little bit, which is also nice, very fond memories, and such a dear friend. That brings us back to McFarlane Toys and Batman, the new Batman Adventures version of Batgirl. And while I was doing the Catwoman review, I kind of, like, went, hmm, these figures look awful similar, if not identical, to the DC Collectibles versions of these characters. So I got to thinking, and I didn't do any research, but I was like, what if McFarlane Toys bought out DC Collectibles and is just reissuing these figures? I've come to my own conclusion that that is the case. And I already own this figure, if that is the case. So it's really not all that important for me to do a review of her. Um, I actually would love to keep her in the box. I'm not going to because I want to get this animation cell out of the package and displayed. Um, that to me is worth having a duplicate figure. So there's that. By the way, I'm really thankful that Hasbro got rid of the windowless packaging for their action figures. Very, very glad. Although I appreciate the attempt to help save on plastic and whatnot, it's just, it was a detriment to actual collectors. Okay, so this figure isn't as much of a disappointment as I thought he was going to be. Um, the aesthetic looks really nice even though he's no longer an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. or the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, it still kind of looks like he's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent to me. So let's go ahead and break into uh, the articulation of this character and this figure. Um, the articulation is very limited, uh, which is a shame, but there's one thing that I absolutely love when I found this out was his beanie is removable. That, to me, is everything. <laughs> so, I'm going to be displaying him without his beanie. So, he gets a little bit of a look down. A pretty okay look back. Turnable head. A little bit of a pivot side to side. Lateral lift in the arms is great. It seems like he has butterfly joints, but I think I'm mistaken. There is a bicep turn. Multifunctional double jointed elbows. You don't really get a flex forward or back because of the long trench coats. There's no wrist flex. Well, there's a little bit of a wrist flex. But due to the sleeves, it's not really worth mentioning. That's about it as far as what you're going to get with lateral lift in the leg. And if you position the legs correctly, you can get the double jointed multi-functional knees. And if you really get your hands in there, you can tell that there is a thigh turn and a twist in the waist. There's also flex in the foot with the rocking side to side motion. So yeah, so now we're gonna get on to accessories. It comes with a rifle and a pistol. Each of them has their own blast effect and smoke effect. Sadly enough, I don't display my action figures with guns. 
that's my personal preference. I'm not against people who own guns or like guns. I happen to dislike guns and I do not own them. So, but that's just me. But they are accessories essential to the character. I just will not be displaying him with them. That is going to wrap up this video for Toy Geek Maniac. I thank you all so much for watching. It really, really means a lot to me. Also, if you hit the like button, that is super awesome as well. Uh, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. That it also makes me very happy. I love interacting with subscribers and people who visit the channel. So those things will really mean a lot because that means it draws attention or draws my attention to show that people are interacting and I'll interact back. It might take a day or two, but I will. <laughs> also, if you are inclined to help the channel grow, you can buy me a cup of coffee or visit my Amazon wish list, both of which are included in the description. Those are also very, very, very helpful. I really want to make this channel grow as much as possible. Thank you all so much for watching once again. Love and light to you all.